Hello, good day, everyone. How are we doing today on that Sunday evening? My name is Michael, and I'm here to review another wine. Uh, today, we're going to review the Chianti Classico Santa Villa Santa Giovanni. All right, a DOCG wine. But first, I would like for you to like and um, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for any further videos. All right, and we're gonna jump straight into this. This wine is from Italy, uh, Tuscany in Italy. I'll do a little graph, I like a drawing of Italy. And if you don't know, Italy is shaped like a, um, a female boot, you know, them winter boots. That's how we shape. Now, right here in the triangle area is Tuscany. And inside the black spot that I have is Chianti Classico. And there is some small dots. If you look carefully, there is some small dots. See some small spots I put there? That is for Chianti. All right. The difference in the two wines. So you have Chianti Classico and you have Chianti. In Chianti... It's a, it's, it's a bigger region. Chianti Classico is a smaller region. Now, Chianti Classico is um, it's a more upscale um, wine region. <clears throat> the Chianti, a little, uh, the, the difference between the Chianti and the Chianti Classico, we have the, um, the grape varietals. We're going to get into that just now, but just a little more history on that, on that region. In um, the 13th century, that's when um, they really started the Chianti um, region. The first blend for that region was in 1870. Um, and there was a second blend in 1967, and that's the present blend that they're using now. Um, one of my favorite wines from the Chianti region, um, from uh, Tuscany region, sorry, is um, Sassicaia. Sassicaia is my favorite. Um, it's a few years ago they declassified it. Um, it's, it has been declassified because there is international grape varietal in it. So, um, and that is, that is something that, that happening now in um, Chianti as we go along, we're going to see that. Uh, in that 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 wine, you get a hint of um, oak, um, cherry, uh, strawberry, and you know plum. You get a bit of tartiness from the um the, the the plum as well, and that is because it's high in um in tannin and it's high in acidity. But it's a really good wine. It's one of the wines that we know that um, Chianti wines, it don't age properly. It don't age good at all. It's, what you do is you find the youngest vintage and you, and you drink it. That's not a wine that you put down. Okay? So let's go to the grape varietals. Um, in Chianti, Chianti, regular Chianti, the grape varietals, they have um, white grape varietals in that wine. And that is the difference between a Chianti and a Chianti Classico. Now, in Chianti Classico, there is no red grape varietals, um, no white grape varietals. But in Chianti, you have the white grape varietals. Um, the white grape varietal in this one is Malvasia. Malvasia is a white grape varietal that you find in Tuscany. Um, and you have 10% of Malvasia in this grape, in, in this wine, and um, 70 percent of the uh, um, Sanchovese and you have um, Trebino and um, Carandan those are the, um, the red grape varietals in that wine so you have 20 percent of um, red grape the red grape varietals 70 percent of Sanchovese which is the main grape variety and one and ten percent of the Malvasia. As I said, this wine is medium body. It's high in acidity. 
and it's high in um in tannin which will go very well with pasta and um and uh pizza uh, those are more tomato based and you know tomato high, high in acidity as well i mean it's actually the highest fruit in acidity um so big they have massive discussion on it if tomato is a fruit or a vegetable but yeah it's a fruit acidity the acid content in it is very high um as you can see it have the on this one you have the first the foster or back in the day you see the basket and that's because this bottle have no punt it has no punt so they actually make a punt on it with a basket so the basket is here as a punt um the bot the bottle itself it's round it's wrong um <clears throat> so it cannot stand on its own so they have to put that there for you to stand a uh, little bit more just to go over in the Chianti, in the Chianti Classical, the red grape varietal is Sangiovese, and then they have some um, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. And that's actually what had, when I read the article um, back in, a, I think it's about three years ago, when they had um, declassified their uh, Sassicaia because they said that it had that international grape varietal, which is Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. And you're not supposed to use it in the um, Tuscany and in that part. All right. So that's 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 it for that um, wine. As I said again, you get um, a hint of oak. You get uh, that um, ripe fruits. Uh, um, which is ripe, ripe red fruits, ripe red fruits you get on that. <clears throat> it's one of the wine that um, is widely drink throughout the world. Is the most um, the wine the wine that they drink the most in Italy as well. It's, Italy has some beautiful wine in that in that region, Tuscany, even for not um, even like I. Get the opportunity to taste some wine from Sardinia as well. The white wine, I mean, it's beautiful. It's really nice. Um, in Puglia, in Puglia, those are awesome areas. I mean, I'm talking about wines that you could drink now and really good value for money. Really, really good value for money. Uh, as I said, my favorite is Sassicaia. But if you're looking value for money, Good quality wine. Chianti. Chianti. You, you don't you don't missing out on anything. If you just I mean I have friends over, you wanna try a, a bottle, try the try the Chianti. You don't need to spend plenty for the Chianti Classical unless you really um into into the wine. And <clears throat> today as you can see, my flag is my country flag is on the table. Um, today is my independent um, 47 years of independent today and I'm really really happy that you know our country is moving forward even though like with the corona and everything like that we have it under control thanks again for viewing my channel just make sure you hit that notification bell for any further videos that I'll be doing um i will do uh i think the next video we'll be doing is uh how to open a bottle of wine properly and i do have my kit here with me so we're gonna do that in another video so make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification the notification bell thank you so much i appreciate everybody that viewed my channel and please tell a friend, we are here to educate regional, international, anybody that needs to know more about wines, I'm here for you. Thank you.